Mr. Speaker, I wish to advise the House of the rescinding of the approval granted to the government of Bermuda to purchase from the trustees of the Sand Secondary School for a purchase price of $1 million Bermuda dollars for the unencumbered freehold interest of the 2.5 acres, namely lots 1, 2, 3, and 4, situated at the site of Sand Secondary Middle School. Mr. Speaker, let me first declare my double interest. One, I am an alumni of Sand Secondary School. And two, as you will know, Mr. Speaker, my great aunt, Nurse Helen Scott, was one of the founders of Sam Secondary School. Mr. Speaker, the House will recall that a draft purchase and sale agreement was tabled on the 23rd of February 2018 and was debated and approved on March 5th, 2018. The approval included the purchase of the Sands 360 Sports and Aquatic Center at 21 Burn Street Sands. Mr. Speaker, by way of background, the House will recall that the trustees owed some $9.24 million to HSBC Bank of Bermuda Limited for the construction of the center and were unable to repay the debt. HSBC had initially offered the debt to government, which was ultimately declined. Mr. Speaker, at one point, a cabinet subcommittee was formed to include the Attorney General, Ministers of Public Works, Community, Culture and Sports and Education and Economic Development to look at options. This cabinet subcommittee met and considered options and in the end were of the view that the property is of such operational significance to the school and the Sands community that government should consider purchasing it from the trustees. The speaker of the center comprised a 25 meter indoor pool basketball, court, hall, gymnasium, and gym classes. The mission of the center was to strive to create healthy and positive young people, adults, seniors, and families through the community by providing a gathering place and a full range of programs in education, sport, aquatic, health, and recreation via a campus-based community center. The facility also focuses on community development, serving as a hub for the community. Mr. Speaker, since March 2018, the government has worked tirelessly to advance the sale, but the trustees, lawyers, and HSBC have not been able to agree on the final dollar amount since there was an outstanding debt with a contract for BCM McAlpine that had not been satisfied. Mr. Speaker, this outstanding matter continuously delayed the advancement of the sale, and given the current economic climate, it has been determined that it is in the best interest of the government to rescind the purchase approval. Mr. Speaker, I also would like to acknowledge the long and proud history of this school, which was founded in 1927 by community members as the first secondary school open to black students living in the West End. The property was donated by generous community-minded individuals who wished to ensure equal access to secondary education to black students. While we do not take this decision lightly, after three years of trying, the economic climate is a lot different than three years ago, and so the government makes this decision with regret, and but in the belief that it is the right thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.